And for about a million stranded travelers, the holiday travel nightmare may be coming to an end. Late this afternoon, Southwest Airlines announcing that it will fly a quote nearly normal schedule tomorrow after canceling thousands of flights over the past week. Washington correspondent Raquel Martin spoke to the Southwest Airline employees who say they're not surprised by the system wide failure. Southwest Airlines flight attendant Union Vice President Corliss King says the airline's computer scheduling system was a disaster waiting to happen. There was a perfect storm, no pun intended. Combined one historic winter storm, hundreds of thousands of holiday travelers and decades old computer technology. We had a lot of things happen at one time and what that did was exposed the real underlying issue, which is our challenges in our technology and our inability to quickly recover. King has worked for Southwest Airlines for 12 years and says employees have long warned company executives about the flaws in their employee scheduling system. She says the execs just didn't listen. We're the first people to know when the operation on paper is failing, but we do not necessarily have a seat at the table. Southwest Airlines is apologizing for the breakdown, blaming it on weather. But for now, we're focused on restoring the reliability and level of customer experience we expect of ourselves and that you expect from us. As of Thursday, the company says one in three of its flights are back on schedule and it's promising nearly normal operations by Friday. We're continuing the work to make this up to you. The Department of Transportation is promising to hold the airline accountable. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says the problems at the airline were not all weather related. He says the department is working with Southwest to guarantee all impacted customers get refunds. And that was Raquel Martin reporting. Southwest has already canceled a few dozen of tomorrow's flights, but that's down from more than 2,300 cancellations today. Lawmakers promising to take action after they travel back to Washington next week. And the travel nightmare has luggage piling up at the Southwest Airline baggage claim at Salt Lake City International Airport. Check this video out. You see dozens of suitcases that made it to the destination without the passengers. One traveler from Houston saying he and his family were supposed to arrive in Utah on Christmas Eve, but their flight got canceled. They had to fly to Vegas, rent a car and drive to Park City instead, all without any of their luggage. The trip was OK. The last last two days was all right, but we have only one pair of shirt and pant. That's it. And we have to live in five days on that. Okay, that family managed to find their luggage today just in time to head back home. They're working with Southwest to reimburse them for any damaged items.